Another week comes by and we have another chapter chock full of references to Japanese culture. So, without further ado, let's do this again and break down all the Japanese references that you might have missed on if you're not familiar with the language or culture. So, first of all, this isn't anything particularly new, but I still thought I'd mention it. Miyagi and Tristan, the being doctor and nurse that we saw back in Zo, have names based on Japanese puns. The Japanese word for goat is Yagi, hence why he's called Miyagi, while the Japanese word for squirrel is Risu, which can be found in Toristan, which in Japanese is Toristan. In the Japanese version, Miyagi refers to Chopper as Chopper-sensei, as the term is used to refer to someone who is a master or expert of a specific field, which can be applied to many fields, such as with artists, athletes, medics, and many mothers, as it's a very flexible term. What's funny here, though, is that Sensei is usually used for people with a lot of experience in their field in order to show respect, uh, despite the fact that Chopper is technically still a minor, he's still just a young man, but he's that skilled with medicine that even someone with such medical expertise and experience as Miyagi still addresses him like a superior. Next is Marco's attack, which, like many attacks in One Piece, is a very elaborate pun. The attack is called Nashi no Tsubute, with the kanji reading horitsubute, or tossing pineapples. At first glance, this seems like a simple joke based on Marco's hair, but do you know this reference goes way deeper than you might imagine? And that the reason why Oda drew Marco like a pineapple is actually based on Eastern mythology and culture? In today's day and age, pineapples in Japan are often just commonly called a pineapple. However, there's also a Japanese word that was used more commonly back in the day uh, that derives from Eastern origin. This word that was derived from Chinese, with the original Japanese term for the pineapple being hori, is written with the kanji for phoenix pear. Pineapples technically aren't pears, but in the S they were considered in the same category because of their shape, in the same way that we call it an apple in English, despite the fact it's not exactly an apple. And uh, Phoenix comes from the fact that they felt the pineapple look like the tail of a ho, -o, a mythological creature often referred to as the Chinese Phoenix. The ho and the Phoenix are technically two very different creatures, in the same way that the Eastern Dragon and the Western Dragon are technically different creatures as well, but in today's day and age they're mostly call the same and group together, and Marco is based on both the Phoenix and the Ho. But yeah, now you know that the reason why Marco's head looks like a pineapple is because in Japan, the pineapple is known as the Phoenix Spear. Anyways, back to the tech itself. The first kanji is Hori, or pineapple, while the second is Tsubute, which refers to the act of throwing small stones, making the attack Hori Tsubute, which literally means tossing pineapples. However, the furigana for the attack is different from the kanji reading, with the phonetic reading being nashi no tsubute. Nashi is the word for the Japanese spear, which in this case is replacing pineapple, since, as I mentioned before, the pineapple is called phoenix spear in Japan. So instead of tossing phoenix spears or tossing pineapples, the attack just becomes tossing the spear, which isn't very different, but there's a very specific reason why it is changed like this, because nashi no tsubute, or tossing the spear, is actually a common Japanese idiom that means not getting an answer for something you asked, basically the Japanese equivalent of being left on read. Because spears have the same phonetic reading as nothing, these plain words was written in this specific way. So, to recap, Marco's attack is called tossing the pier, which is a Japanese idiom for not getting an answer, but pier in the kanji reading is replaced with pineapple, since Japanese in pineapple is called a phoenix pier, and Marco does, well, <laughs> look like a pineapple. Now, moving on, we get all the devil fruit designs for the Flying Six. To quickly recap, the Eth Drake has the Allosaurus fruit, Page 1 has the Spinosaurus fruit, and Ulti has the Pachycephalosaurus fruit, which the Pachycephalosaurus is known for having a robust head, which makes sense since being stubborn in Japanese is called having a hard head. As for the new ones, however, Sasaki has the Triceratops fruit, which is quite fitting since Triceratops are known for their thick build and massive bone frill that protects their neck from the attacks of other predators. As such, Triceratops have very high defense, which makes sense since Sasaki is the leader of the armored forces. However, I should take this opportunity to clarify something. While you might have read the Ri Ryu no Mi series of fruits being translated as Dragon Dragon Fruit in several translations, 
that uh, could perhaps potentially not be entirely accurate. The reason behind this choice is because in Japanese, dinosaurs are called Kyoryu, which translates to scary dragon. Uh, this isn't much different from the English etymology of dinosaur, which means scary lizard, so instead of using lizard, they simply use dragon. This also extends to other types of saurs, such as pterosaurs, of which King has a devil fruit, for example, still being part of the Ryuryu no Mi series, which are called Yokuryu, or winged dragons in Japanese, which matches the English etymology of the winged lizard. So, since the Japanese word for sour or lizard is dragon, some translations translated it literally. However, I feel it's not really an accurate translation, because it would be the same as calling it the lizard lizard fruit, just because that is the etymology of the name, so calling it the sour sour fruit, I feel personally is more logical, unless they are somehow part of the same series as, say, Kaido's dragon fruit, if he does have one and it's not vice versa, uh, but I just don't think that's very likely at this point. Similarly fitting is Who's Who, who has a saber tooth fruit. This one was a very popular theory, since his crew members seemed to be themed around cats, and sure enough, everybody was right. Who's Who does indeed have a saber tooth tiger fruit. His location within the castle, though, is what is interesting, because it is called the Cat Cafe. While they do exist in other countries as well, cat cafes are very commonly found in Japan, and are basically cafes where cats are allowed to roam around, making for a cozier environment. Cats will often go up to customers who are allowed to pet them. In this case, since Who's Who's crew is themed around cats, it makes sense that he has an area in the castle themed after a cat cafe. This area even features several structures for cats to climb over, just like those found in real cat cafes, and giant tables like those found in a cafe. The sign seen on top of Who's Who even features the kanji for Neko, or cat. However, the wordplay here once again goes way deeper than you might think at first, because the ka in cafe is actually written with the kanji for ka, or family. This means that cat cafe, or neko cafe in Japanese, forms the word nekoka, which means cat family, or more specifically, felines in general, which makes sense since there are many types of different felines in this cafe, making it more accurately translatable to feline cafe. But this ka also serves as the first word for café, so neko café makes this a direct pun that combines both terms. However, no devil fruit is more fitting than Black Maria, who does in fact have a spider devil fruit as I predicted in the past video. Like I explained there, Black Maria having a spider devil fruit makes a lot of sense, since it would make her like a Jorogumo, a yokai of Japanese folklore that takes the appearance of a woman that transforms into a spider. Some people were questioning this since there was an indication that all the flying six uh, could possess ancient zoans, but some others also quickly justified it with Black Maria perhaps having a prehistoric spider fruit, and yeah, that's exactly what happened. The Rosamigali Gravogeli is a spider that lived during the Triassic period alongside other dinosaurs considered to be the oldest spider to have ever lived, or, well, at least among any spider fossils found so far. Rosamigale were believed to lure other animals into their nest rather than go out hunting, which is quite fitting since it's the same type of trap that Black Maria set out to capture Sanji, and also the same type of trap that the yokai Jorogumo uses. However, Black Maria is far from the only yokai being represented here, because every other woman has a smile fruit or an appearance that makes them look like a yokai from Japanese folklore, so let's categorize all of these yokai. First, as I mentioned last week, Sarahebi is a Rokurokubi, a yokai that looks like a woman whose head extends to become really long. Though the name Sarahebi actually refers to a different type of yokai, who is represented in the girl next to her, whose body transforms into that of a snake. This is the Nure Onna yokai, which is also known as the Sarahebi. Above the two is a woman who is most likely based on the Ameonna, a yokai with the form of a woman that is found during rainy nights and is always drenched in water. Then, just as I mentioned in the previous video, the woman with long black hair looks to be a Taka Onna, a yokai who can extend her torso to become very tall and preys on other people who live on second floors of buildings. Below her, we have a woman who is likely based on the Shitanagauba, a woman with a very uh, long tongue that licks off the flesh and blood of her victims. Though it should be noted that there are many yokai with long tongues, so she could also potentially be based on another type of yokai. And finally, there's this final woman 
woman who, while hard to discern, is probably a shikome, only who have very ugly and deformed appearances with warped mouths and creepy faces. So, those are all the references to Japanese culture within this chapter, and I couldn't be more satisfied with the Dial Fruits Oda picked for the Flying Six. Which among them is your favorite? Let me know, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching! Welcome to Jurassic